Hi friends. Today's video is very important. We will summarize the book The Power of Habits by the famous author Charles Duhigg. Anyone should know the ideas of this book. The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business was first published in 2012 and written by Charles Duhigg, New York Times correspondent. On its pages, you'll explore how habits are formed and how they can be broken, giving you more control over the automatic processes that dictate most of our daily lives. We'll talk about the top ideas for this great book, let's go! Number 1 Habit Ring By far the biggest inculcation of this useful book is the concept of a habit ring. Put simply, the habit cycle consists of cues, routines, and rewards. By creating a habit loop using these three elements, you will be able to automatically form and stick to habits without thinking about them or opening yourself up to avoid them. Train yourself to notice specific signs, which, in turn, lead to routine and bring you rewards. Number 2 Signal Categories Of course, Signal Categories is another great category. There are five main categories of signals, location, time, emotional state, other people, and the action immediately preceding the signal. Knowing the signs you currently have in your life and how to look for or avoid them is crucial. Number 3 Foundation Habits Some habits can help build new habits by providing a foundation for success and success on which you can motivate. The core habits are usually small and win-win which leads to more habits forming and control over them. For example, dieters who keep a food journal are more successful at losing weight. Number 4 Pain Plan The strength of habit also talks about the importance of pain planning. Thinking about the difficulty and struggle you will face when forming a habit or quitting a bad habit can help you prepare when the pain inevitably passes. If you write a plan about what to do when pain knocks on your door, you will be more successful in enduring that pain. Number 5 Craving This is the fourth secret ingredient in habit loop. Passion, defined by this book, is the expectation of reward. It is important to be aware of any intense desire in your life because it can kidnap or start your habits cycle early, which makes it more difficult to quit bad habits. The book talks a lot about dopamine's rewards and how your mind relates to emotion. Number 6 Repetition and Automation The book talks a lot about redundancy and automation and how it affects your everyday life more than you may be used to. The truth is, most of what we do is at least partially automated. Hijacking this trend from our minds to put certain activities in the background can help us form healthy habits that we don't even need to think about. Number 7 Freedom is important The book explains that there is no single way to achieve good habits and get rid of bad habits. The book focuses on providing you with a framework to learn about your habits and learn how to create beneficial ones. In fact, it also states that it is important for everyone to use the freedom of their nature to create a plan for building and breaking habits that fit their situation perfectly. Number 8 Emotion Manipulation One of the tricks that may benefit you when it comes to breaking bad habits is not to ignore or resist bad habits cravings, but rather to change them. For example, if you have a bad habit of eating sugary foods, you can learn about the signs or cravings that lead to eating cookies and instead teach yourself to exercise immediately after trying this craving. Your brain will eventually get used to the positive endorphins you get from exercising and you will never have to ignore the cravings. 9 Crowd is important The strength of a habit also indicates that the people around them can influence your success in forming or breaking habits. You should surround yourself with those who are also trying to form the same habit or trying to break a bad habit. People who aren't on the same path can tempt you the other way or make you hesitant to continue. Number 10 Personal Responsibility In line with the above, the book also notes that personal responsibility is necessary to change any habit and improve your life. You have to get used to, pun intended, to take responsibility for your bad actions. Do not say it is not your fault. Dependence on difficulty and facing challenges. We have come to the end of this video. If you like the content of the channel, do not forget to subscribe to the channel to receive all new and click like.